Number 17. So for an exponential variable with parameter a, find the CDF. So find the cumulative distribution function. Okay. And our distribution that we're starting with is an exponential random variable. So what this means is that the general CDF for this, sorry, the general PDF for this is lambda times x, and it's going to be shaped like this. Drop off like that. Okay. And since we have parameter lamb a, that means our specific one we're looking at is the following. Okay. This, the CDF answers the following question. So that's a function that's going to tell you the area under the curve for everything less than some specific value on the um, PDF graph. So it tells you the probability that you encounter the random variable being less than some value. I'm going to call it x here because it's going to be the same as this input to this function. All right. So describe that in terms of an integral. So that's everything up to x. And in your uh, probability density function, so the area under that curve, I'm using t here just to differentiate from x. Okay, so what do we have for our formula? We have from minus infinity to zero. So this is off outside of below zero, and then it starts to turn on at zero. So we go from zero to x of a e to the minus a t dt. And so this one is zero. And so this is the result we have to worry about. Okay, so. Yeah, 0 to x, a, e to the minus a, t, dt. Find the antiderivative for this function, so that is 1 over minus a, e to the minus a, t, and we have to evaluate at the bounds 0 and x, so cancel. So we have minus e to the minus a, t evaluated at 0 and x. So plug in, so minus e to the minus a, x minus minus e to the minus a times zero. Uh, this power here is just going to be zero, so this is e to the zero, which is going to be one. And the two negatives are positive, so we have minus e to the minus ax plus one. So our PDF function is going to be one minus e to the minus ax. And again, if you realize that this is an exponential uh, distribution, you can look up the CDF because this is a, a known form for it.